October 31, 2018 Yakopo Raw, Getty Images Nicki Minaj says that Steve Madden is lying with his recent denial that he ever offered her an endorsement deal. And Complex reports that Iggy Azalea, 50 Cent, and a former Vibe magazine reporter who once interviewed Madden have all come forward to back the hip-hop veteran's claim. Nikki's quarrel with Madden sprung from the war of words that broke out between her and Cardi B after the latest episode of her Queen radio broadcast. Nikki readdressing their New York Fashion Week brawl at the Harper's Bazaar Icons party led to her and Cardi taking to their respective social media platforms to vent over the origins of their feud and to go tit for tat fact checking one another. In the process, Madden's name came up as they each boasted about turning down designers who then moved on to settle for partnerships with their second choice, in the other. According to Newsweek, it was Cardi who drew first blood when she countered Nikki's claim that she has in the past worked behind the scenes to sabotage a business opportunity or two intended for the Barbie Ting's vixen. Cardi posed that if anything, Nikki ought to be thanking her while in the same breath claiming responsibility for Nikki's most recent move in the fashion world. You out here saying that I'm trying to stop your bag, right? But I'm actually helping you get a bag. Because that diesel deal that you got, yeah that came to me first and I had to decline it because I'm already working with fashion brands, Cardi said. Same thing with Steve Madden. Irv Gotti asked me to do that deal several times. I passed. You never hear me talking about things like this, question mark. She really thought she was doing SMDH and talking about turning down deals. Wah ha 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 hashtag dip video out now. Baby girl write a rap, queen, at Nick Aminyaj. October 30, 2018 Nikki soon fired back with her own recollection of a time in which she passed on a proposal that fell on Cardi's lap after it was originally made to her. Same thing with Steve Madden. Irv Gotti asked me to do that deal several times. I passed. You never hear me talking about things like this. It was at that point that Madden stuck his nose into the dispute. The 60-year-old fashion mogul indeed began a working relationship with Cardi B when last December his company announced that it was presenting her first-ever fashion collaboration to the world with Curated by Cardi. But a time in which he ever pitched his label to Nicki Minaj apparently escapes him, and he let it be known by tagging her in a tweet that read, You can't turn down an offer that was never made. At Nikamin Yaj you can't turn down an offer that was never made. Hashtag Stop Lying Steve Madden, at Steve Madden, October 30, 2018 By chance, title editor Del Platon happened to get wind of Madden feigning ignorance and called him out on it. Three years ago Platon covered Madden in a feature she did for Vibe magazine. At one point during their interview, he expressed regret over his decision to go with Iggy Azalea over Nicki Minaj and even went so far as to pose that if he had to do it all again, he would have chosen Nicki to represent Steve Madden. I was gonna do a collaboration with Nicki Minaj and we got into a fight the first minute we met. Then we patched it up. We were cool. We text each other, we became sort of buddies, Madden said at the time. We were thinking of doing something, and I would have, but I was with Iggy and I thought, Coke and Pepsi. It was a mistake, I made a mistake and I wish that I could go back in time and work with Nikki instead of Iggy. Platon went on and posted a screenshot of text from the article, which Nikki followed suit in retweeting. Iggy Azalea would pile on, saying Steve lying like ST, in a tweet that hot new hip hop saved before she deleted it. Even 50 Cent got in on holding Madden to account, writing, I guess he forgot he spoke on this already, in the caption of his own repost of the article. So, in 2015, I interviewed Steve Madden about a Jor Rule collabo for at Vibe magazine and the Nikki deal was brought up. 
This happened, https colon slash slash t dot co slash jh three sp five cm cupic dot twitter dot com slash cgwx five wlh, delta d euro l l euro, added l a platin, October thirtieth, twenty eighteen.